the same thing I, that I've been saying over and over again. What I want to teach you is not like those common questions. I want you to uh, I want you to know something which is like you have to use your brain. Uh, okay, so you're not you have been doing those super simple ones. Then suddenly the question comes out weird. How are you gonna think, right? So you have to think out the box. Okay, then they did say that your center PQ are 20 cm and 25 cm respectively. So obviously it's over there already. And then calculate the distance between center of the circle. So it means they want you to calculate this red color line. Uh, this is what they want you to calculate. Okay, so my next question to everybody. My next question to everybody. Huh? Now, so I'm going to read again. Okay, I'm going to read again. Okay, so it says, okay, it says, uh, calculate distance, ma. Okay, now. So obviously, MNRST, it shows common tangent. So I'm going to ask everyone, you can refer to the extra paper that that I that I mentioned to you all before. Can you tell me what's so special about common tangents? Uh, what's so special about common tangents? Hmm. What's so special about it? Mm, besides 90 degree, uh, let's see, that one is like definitely, right? <coughs> same one. Mm, same one. Okay, good. Come more, more replies. So I'm going to draw a bit of that common tangent thing that we learned before. So I remember I draw something similar to this. So the common tangent will be a straight line. And uh, of course, it will touch like one of the point there. Lah. So tangent point, tangent point, center point, center point, draw lines, draw lines, 90 and 90. So the main thing is that mm, starts with P, you have parallel. And that's the one. Ah, okay. So another one, how if I draw a circle like this and my tangent line go this way? Center point, center point. Draw line, draw line. 90 is like definitely already. Yeah. Okay. So if you get that parallel thing, right? Okay, parallel thing, right? So imagine if I draw from here to here, you notice there is a smaller, a smaller triangle on the right side and a bigger one on the left side. Right? Not? The size is different, but the angle is the same. Because of vertically opposite angle, this thing is equal. And of course, do you notice parallel? By using Z, you basically transfer the angle from here to here. So do you notice? Do you notice? Do you notice? There is a different size right angle triangle. Different size, and eh? ah, there's a different size, and eh? that's the one. Yes, so that's why when you come into this question number three, right? I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna say, do you notice MN 90 and 90? So parallel, parallel, they're normal, right? But they did say that there is another one RST, so 90 and 90, parallel and parallel. So the 50 you can transfer here, uh, you transfer the 50 already. And simultaneously, you notice there is a 20 cm radius and a 25 cm radius there. So my next question to everybody, think about it, think about it, and you reply me. So when you see a question where you where you see right angle triangle, obviously, right? And number two, you see angles, which is not 90 degrees, but random angles, which is acute. Acute means lesser than 90. You see that 50 degrees there, right? And some more you get your length there. So what chapters links to all these right angle triangle, acute angles, and your length? Any chapter you have all this information to do calculations on. Chapter 5, what's that? Yeah, the Tua Kaso, Soka Tua, that, those, those kind of things, right? That's the one. Ah, so now, now, I'm going to tell you, you try to continue. Okay, you're going to continue. Do you notice you, you want to calculate your Q to P length, but then you can't solve the whole thing one shot, right? right? So you need to separate them. Like right? QS one of it and SP one of it. So you're going to separate to two different right angle triangles. Okay, so A, I'm going to draw it there. Okay, I'm going to draw it. Okay, so, <coughs> so I draw it. You don't have to draw it. Huh? So you have this. Try that. So that's the first one. <coughs> that's the first one. So 90, 90. So your 50 is over here. Your 25 is over here. Ah, so now I will hint you. So by using the 50, by using the 50, what is 25? Uh, by using the 50, what is 25? <coughs> Very good, the A, the A, the adjacent, right? By using the 50, what is your QS? What is your QS? Very good, because you want, to, you want to find your Q up to P, right? So we just separate them. You're right. So you have to use your cos. Cos 50 equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. And you do the, the linear equations. You will be able to get your answer in two decimal point. Okay, so you're going to do that yourself. And the next one, I'm going to fit the information for you, for you, and you need to work it out for me. Okay, you're going to work it out for me. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay, so you're going to work it out like, like, um, 
wait uh, let me let me feed out like the P and R. You so you're gonna work out A for me, like the whole length from Q to P. Okay, so I'm gonna copy Lucy's answer. Okay, so the other part you'll work it out. So your total is like after you add the two decimal point answer together, right? It's actually a whole number. Uh, yes, Kenzon, you're right. Sean, you're right. Okay, so you can work out for Sean and Kenzon, you can work out your B now. So as you are doing it, right, everybody, I'm gonna say again, uh, this is not form three level. Okay, so I'm showing you super hard question. Okay, where I will I will guide you. Okay, I won't like yeah, I do it yourself. No. Okay, because this one, if let's say I didn't handle it carefully, right? It will downgrade your confidence towards maths. Cannot. Uh, so that's why I have to handle uh, carefully. Okay, so it's best that if let's say you have the paper with you, it's better. Yes, let's see, you're right. You don't correct. Okay, correct. Okay, so by using the 50. Okay, by using the 50. So you have your cost 50 equals to, so that's my adjacent 20 and my hypotenuse of SP. So SP equals to 20 over cost 50. So SP equals to, so like, uh, I'm going to copy the C's answer, 31.11 CM. So we're going to add it. So Q to P, final answer, 70 CM. Uh, so Gavin, uh, Gavin, uh, Gavin, you can check out your workings and see which part go wrong. Uh, so did, did you do like sign? Because the common mistake from other students is that they use tangent or, or maybe sign. Uh, because our answer is supposed to be cos. Eh? Okay. Now, so the next one. Okay, the next one. So for B, right? Okay, everybody, everybody. Ah, yeah, Jubei, yes, why not? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? It is the same, it's the same straight line. Now, the next one, it comes this way. Okay, it says cos. Cos means AH. So your answer is supposed to be in AH format. So cos angle PQN supposed to be A over H. So what is my A and what is my H? But before that, again, they talk about sine cos 10. If they talk about sine cos 10, it means what? It means, uh, oh, no, you need right angle triangle. But do you have right angle triangle for PQN? So why not we check and see? Huh? So you look at PQN, P up to Q, then down to N. Huh? Lama, this one right angle triangle, man. Then students say, teacher, draw lines. Huh? So can I draw from here to here to form right angle triangle? Can I do that? Yes, no. Yes, no. Which one? The answer is, of course, cannot. Why cannot? Imagine if I draw from here to here, mana boleh, this one got one small angle there. Because the 90 is supposed to be here to here. If you don't draw this one, you cut partially off already, not 90 off, of course, right? So the only way for you to form 90 degree is by drawing this line where, where we do it before. Ah, this one is possible, right? So if I draw that, that's why you see, it, the, the question given is like totally out of your expectation. Uh, this is what I mean by something where you have to really, really uh, think out of the box. Yeah, okay, so that's why that's why again back to the, the same the same thing I, that I've been saying over and over again. What I want to teach you is not like those common questions. I want you to uh, I want you to know something which is like you have to use your brain. Uh, okay, so you're not you have been doing those super simple ones, then suddenly the question comes out weird. How are you gonna think, right? So you have to think out of the box. So um I'm gonna draw out my right angle triangle. Okay, these are questions where I collect like like so many years already, like 15 years, 20 years. Yeah, I've been collecting it. Yeah, so these are old, old, old version as uh SPM level. Catholic paper, uh, Catholic high school paper. Okay, yeah. But everything is within your syllabus, don't worry. So um, we have this angle that we have to find and obviously the red color one, it's 70, we know that. Hey, how about the small one by the side? How much is it? You see your PM shows 20, right? So you push the 20 to the other side, the whole 25, 20, you push here 20, so you left a five there. Alamak, senang. You get a five and 70 from the angle, it's like obviously A and H lah. Ah, so answer will be 5 and 70. Huh? So your answer will be 1 over 14 or done. You don't have to find your angle because they didn't ask you to find angle PQN. They asked you to find cos angle PQN. So cos means I want your adjacent over hypotenuse answer. Ah, that's the one. Okay. 